Hello, this is Plank Time. I'm going to be talking about the, uh, there's a video here talking about the last 24 hours. There's been, uh, major earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis in the Ring of Fire. Here's the Ring of Fire right here. And, uh, this is, I was, been talking about this for a few years. I made a video about it, uh, in July 2017, talking about, uh, the earthquake tsunami that's going to happen in the Ring of Fire. And I believe that's in the Revelation 12 sign. It explains it right here, what's going to happen. And I do believe the Revelation 12 sign was on... The Revelation 12 sign was on September 23rd, 2017. And at the time, back in 2017, I wasn't sure if the whole Revelation 12 sign was on um, September 23rd, or part of it was on September 23rd, and the other part was on December 17th, 2017. It tells us 1,260 days something's going to happen. 1,260 days after September 23rd, 2017 would be March 6, 2021. And 1,260 days after December 17, 2017 would be May 30th, 2017. And it talks about somewhere represented by a great eagle, which I took for being America, something with water is going to overtake it and it'll devastate it, but the water will eventually go back and not, you know, It'll do a lot of damage. So I tried to look to see what it was, and I thought it'd be the revelation. Uh, I tried to look what it was, and I believed it would be the Cascadia fault line earthquake tsunami. But um, what I'm going to say, just to cover all my bases, I'm going to say that um, on or between March 6, 2021 and May 30th, 2021, somewhere in the world, I think it'll be America, but I'll just say somewhere in the world, there's going to be a devastating, absolutely devastating catastrophe to do with water. Could be, uh, you know, um, hurricanes, uh, a dam. I didn't even think about a dam, but it has to do with water dam, because they got that one dam in um, in China, Three Gorge Bridge, or a Three Gorge Dam. So they're having problems with that. So it could be a dam. Maybe there'll be an earthquake and it'll go, or it'll go and there'll be an earthquake, or maybe there won't be an earthquake. Um, and I'm going to talk about a, a dam in America that I didn't even know about. I just found out like a day ago. It's, if it goes, it'll devastate a whole area. I'll show you in a second here. So it'll be somewhere in the world. Uh, on those Between those dates, something to do with water. Um, like I said, hurricane, a dam will go, or earthquake tsunami, something like that. So, just cover all my bases, I, I made it wide like that. But I do believe it's going to be in America. And I think it'll be the Cascadia Fault Line. Although this new dam I found out about, this Fort Fort Peck Dam, if it goes, it'll destroy a lot of area too. So it could be that, and I'll show you in a second. But I think it will be in America. I think it will be the Cascadia Fault Line. Uh, earthquake tsunami that will devastate Washington State, Oregon, and Northern California. I do believe it'll be on March 6, 2021, but it could be in between that and May 30th, 2021. And I believe the Revelation 12 sign that happened on September 23rd, 2017 tells us, gives, gives us the exact date. A uh, video I made uh, back in July 3rd, 2017 called Internal Revolution slash Civil War coming to Portland, Oregon, or St. Louis in 2020, then destruction in 2021. Um, I talk about it later in the video. I talk about it. I talk about a few things in here, but at the end, I think it's at the end, but you might want to watch the whole video. I talk about the Cascadia Fault Line going on March 6, 2021. But again, it could be between that and May 30th, 2021. Um, it says here, recently there was an 8.2 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Alaska that shook the west coast, Hawaii, and Canada, sparked a tsunami warning. Now, this says recently, but it was actually in January 23rd, 2018. It is recently. But I just found out now today, doing my research on this, that there was a, um, a bunch of stuff going on on that exact date. Right here is the 2018 Alaska earthquake. Happened right here. And on that same day, this eruption, volcano eruption, happened on the same day. And it's right here in Japan. So right here, earthquake 8.2 went off January 23rd, 2018. Then this volcano went off. On the Ring of Fire, this one also here in the Philippines, same day, 23rd, and then even this one here on Cordova Island happened on the 
between the 22nd and the 18th of January. Really weird. I never, I didn't hear about any of these. I knew about the one that happened, the big one in Japan in 2011, and then the ones right before that in Christchurch, of all places, Christchurch, in New Zealand, and then there was one in Chile, and I was saying in my video how the, the Ring of Fire is turning, I don't know if it's counterclockwise or clockwise, and all this pressure has been building up on the Cascade Fault Line, right here. And the J Japan, that earthquake that happened in 2011, uh, had the same setup as the uh, Cascade Fault Line, where one plate was over the other one, and it slipped. And then all this pressure has been building on it since around there, since around 2009, 2010, 2011. And uh, the Cascade Fault Line hasn't gone at all. And it's um, it's been overdue. It, it went off last time in January in the year 1700. So it's been over 300 years, 320 years since it went off, and it's overdue. Here's the one that went off here in, in Mount Sinabung Volcano in Indonesia. And like I said, the past 24 hours, there's been a bunch of them. Here's the one that went off today, and this one's been going off in the Ring of Fire. So it's been building a lot of these earthquake tsunamis help, happening in the Ring of Fire. And I want to show you this video. This is a... Uh, I just, I just watched this the other day, and it talks about five dams that could go, and I still believe it'll be the Cascadia Fault Line, but this is, uh, I gotta think about this one, because it shows major devastation. It's only like a minute long. I'll play it real quick for you. Not too far from the small town of Glasgow, Montana, is one of the biggest reservoirs in the entire world, the Fort Peck Dam. But according to Dr. Bernard Shanks, this nearly 80-year-old dam is one of the most hazardous in North America. Dr. Shanks is a former land and wildlife advisor who has been studying dams on the Missouri River for over 40 years. He believes the central problem lies in the way the dam was built. His thoughts were echoed by Darren McMurray, the Fort Peck Dam Operations Manager, who stated, The dam itself was constructed out of hydraulic fill, which is basically a slurry of mud and water pumped from both downstream and upstream of the dam location. It's not a safe methodology to build dams. This technique makes it much more likely the dam could collapse, and there is historical precedent for this. When the dam was first constructed in 1938, there was a collapse that resulted in the deaths of eight men. Over the decades, dam construction has moved away from hydraulic filling for this very reason. If Fort Peck were to burst, then it would result in a domino-like effect that would also result in the destruction of five other dams located downstream reaching all the way to St. Louis. Along the way, the flooding would destroy pipelines, highways, bridges, and anything else in its path. It would become the worst flood in American history, with thousands of lives lost. So right there, that's why St. Louis stuck out to me when I watched this like a day or two ago. If Fort Peck goes, this will be devastating all through here, all the way down to St. Louis. In St. Louis, I put in my video here that um, I believe it would be St. Louis or Portland because of in Portland is because of the eclipse in on August 21st, 2017. That's where the eclipse entered in Lincoln City, uh, Oregon, right by Portland. And now we're having all those problems in Portland now with the communists having all those being all radical and uh, having all those riots. It's like 70 something nights of it. That's the internal revolution that Dimitri Doneman talked about, started by the communists. They're admitted communists. They, you know, they freely admit it. And now they're going to the, with the White House in uh, September, in September, and they're going to stay there until the election. So that's uh, the internal revolution starting that Dimitri Doneman talked about. But that would be Portland. And St. Louis uh, is the place where the uh, eclipse makes an X. Remember, in 2017, it goes here, and then it comes up in 2024, and it comes up and makes an X right here by St. Louis. So that could be uh, that could be something to, to look out for. But I still think I still think the Cascade Fault Line, you know, would be that's what I'm picking. Again, it could be uh, it could be somewhere else in the world. It might not be America, but I do believe it will be America because I do believe this is it right now. After um. I do believe the Revelation 12 sign tells us exactly when that's going to happen. I do believe the Revelation 12 sign tells us when it's going to happen, and I do believe it, it'll be between March 
6, 2021 and May 30th, 2021, but most likely March 6, 2021, and I'm picking the Cascadia fault line. Earthquake tsunami that devastates it, but it could be Fort Peck Dam, could be the Madrid fault line, Madrid, the new Madrid fault line. That's also where the the two eclipses made next. But everything is coming, everything's happening right now. Uh, what's the odds that all five of these prophecies are all coming true right now? The Book of Revelations with the Revelation 12 sign. And talking about Mystery of Babylon, America's clearly Mystery of Babylon. We got uh, St. Malachi's 112 Pope Prophecy. We're on the 112 Pope right now, Peter the Roman. And the Pope is 84, going to be 85. Notre Dame talked about uh, the Moorish Law, which is communism in his day. That's what they call communism. Would be seen to fail, he talked about. And then a man named Boris would take over, and then another man that's more appealing to the people would take over after him. And that's what happened. Communism collapsed, and Notre Dame wrote this in 1555, and it happened. Communism collapsed in Russia, Boris Yeltsin took over, and then Putin came after him. And then he said in 1999, seven months will come great king of terror, Putin. He came to power in uh, 1999, seven months. And then it says, also in the, in the same one, it says, he'll bring back with him the great king of the Mongols. And the Mongols are the Chinese, and that's President Xi. And it talks about before and after war reigns. So before President Xi gets into power, there'll be war, which there was. After 9-11, we went to war. And after. And Putin's not known as the great king of terror yet. And he's predicted, Notre Dame has predicted uh, Trump a bunch of times in there. Uh, he predicted Hitler, Hister. Predicted uh, Notre Dame. Or predicted uh, Napoleon. Other stuff, too. And then we got... Our Lady of Fatima, the three, third secret, talking about the Pope would see himself in the mirror, and she didn't know why that was, but it's because there's two Popes, I believe, and then he, at the end, he'd be walking, Rome would be destroyed, and then he'd walk up a hill, and then he'd be killed, him and all the people he's with, and then Dimitri Doneman said in, uh, it was September 1980 or September 1984, I still don't got the dates correct me on that yet, but I think it was, it's one of those two, and he said that, the fall of America would begin with an eternal revolution started by the communists. That's when Russia, allied with seven South American countries, and he names them, they're all countries that hate us now, uh, will destroy America in one, hour, one day, he said, but in the book of Revelations it says one hour, mystery of Babylon will be destroyed. And now, he said this, he preached this in the 1980s and early 90s. He died in uh, the summer of 97, and so he didn't get to see this come. And then, and then we were, like I've said in other, my other videos, we were completely together as a country. Reagan won 49 out of 50 states in 1984, and Dimitri kept preaching it. And then uh, communism collapsed in 1991, Dimitri kept preaching it, and now it's happening. We got the communists fighting the government right now, starting. And now the internal revolution started by the communists, and it's already started. They've been, you know, they've been riding in Portland where the eclipse came in, right, the exact spot where the eclipse first came in, and it left, the eclipse left in Fort Sumner where the, where the, uh, Civil War started, and I believe that was completely 100% a sign, but they're, they've been fighting in Portland, Oregon, and now they're going to the White House, and Chicago was a nightmare, they're, like, uh, shooting people, going to neighborhoods, the internal revolution started by the communists, exactly what Dimitri Gentleman said, was this happening in 1980? Was there people calling themselves communism, communists, and going out doing stuff like that? Yeah, you had the problems in the 60s and 70s, but they weren't in charge now. What happened was, in the 60s and 70s and 80s and 90s, they, the ones that were the radicals in the 60s, got into power. They went to the schools, the colleges, they started teaching your kids. They got into the government, they got into Hollywood, they got into the media. Now they're entrenched in, they're really tight. So that's why they couldn't do it in the 60s. People might go, oh, in the 60s this stuff was going on. No. They got the idea for this in the 60s. Look at all of them. Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, all these people. They go, they honeymoon. It was a big thing in the 60s and 70s to go honeymoon in Cuba or the USSR when it wasn't just Russia. It wasn't just Russia in, in the early 2000s. It was the USSR. Bernie Sanders went and honeymoon there. And a lot of them thought it was this cool thing. And they think communism is cool because they don't understand the, the horror and death of it. So it's a lot different than it was in the 60s. And this is exactly what Dimitri Doneman predicted. How could he have guessed this? So either Dimitri Doneman had to be lying about it, or he had to guess it, or he was telling the truth. Well, he wasn't lying about it. He didn't gain anything from it. There's no way he could have guessed that. Um, I believe he was telling it 100% true. He saw the angel. 
exactly what happened. So let's see what goes on. Let's see if we get to March 6, 2021 and May 30th, 2021. And if this happens, and if it is the Fort Peck Dam or the, especially the Cascadia Fault Line earthquake tsunami, well then, um, then I guess we got to really look towards Halloween, October 31st, 2021, being the date the de destruction of America. If I'm right about this, then chances are I will be right about that. So we will find out. It's coming soon. I wanted to make a video and I wanted to clear it up to, to say that somewhere in the world between those two dates, something with water is going to happen. And I already said what I believe it will be, but we'll see. So uh, thanks for watching this video. This has been Plank Time. See ya.